So here is the only cable that you're gonna get inside the box. It's pretty much the only thing we get inside the box. So this is just to charge up right here, your Mac. So again, this would be the only cable that we're getting with our Mac and it's just to charge it up. So see this right here, this will go to your Mac and then this, which is USB-C, that will go directly to your charger. Well, your wall break. So we're gonna show you that in a second. But uh, the cable itself, it is a little bit different than the ones that we've seen from before. I have noticed over time, they made them thinner and thinner, which is good and bad. But anyways, this one's the one that you guys get with your Mac. So let's just set it on the side for now. So inside there, you get these manuals, which are fairly basic because the setup process is extremely easy, which is another video I'm doing. This is just an unboxing where you guys get to see exactly what's inside the box, which isn't that much. But anyways... Let's just leave that there. You do get your stickers. Yes, before they used to be white. And now they're sending black stickers or something different. All right, and last but not least, here we go. So this is what you guys get. So your cable that we got will be all plugged in right here. So that way we can charge our Mac. Let me just take off that for now, just to show you this a little bit better. And... I know a lot of people are asking me for the writing on it. Because a lot of people are watching this entire video just for this, actually. So I want to show you as much detail as possible. So this would be your power adapter that you guys get. And this right here would be the only writing that you're going to see around the entire adapter. There isn't anything more. So again, that's where you plug in that. And uh, I guess there's some writing here, but none of this would be important if you're trying to get a replacement or you want to see if the one that you're getting is real or something like that anyways see this part this part actually comes off that's something that apple did from way before and they kept it up which is awesome so here we go so the reason this comes off is so you can change these but also before i'm not sure now i have to look it up but uh you could plug in an extension here so that's something that you might want to look at if you need an extension so let's just put it back so that will go directly to your wall and you would charge up your mac macs do come with some battery already they usually don't come completely dead that would actually be a bad thing but anyways this is the adapter that you guys get with it and that's it it's pretty big it is a little bit bulky and a little bit heavy so there's nothing else in the box by the way so at this point in time, you're seeing everything you get inside the box. There isn't anything else. So let's move on to the MacBook. By the way, if you guys can get a hard shell case for this, I would highly recommend so because I made the mistake only one time not to get it for my MacBook Air. And already I got a little dent on one of the corners. But with all my other Macs, I've always had hard shells. None of them ever had a dent or even a scratch on them. That said, let's just open this up. So now that I saw the back, I want to highlight this looks really good. This engraving they did, awesome. Now on the back, you're going to notice these as well, which are good. So your Mac won't slip all over the place. And below, you would see the serial number. So here is the Mac. Let's just take a look around it. So right here, this is where you guys would open it up. And all the way around, let's take a look at all the ports before we keep going. So this right here, that's where you hook up your adapter. So that's to charge your MacBook. Then we got two USB-Cs, or, you know, they call them Thunderbolt 4. And a headphone jack, that's the last thing. On the back, there's absolutely nothing, so we're just going to keep going. And on this side, you're going to see this SD card slot. That's something I don't think they needed to put on a MacBook, honestly. I would rather have more ports for USB-C. And if I ever needed that, I would just buy an adapter for that. Now, HDMI, that's something that I think almost everybody needs. So that's a good thing. But again, I would appreciate it even more USB ports. But that's all you guys get right here. So there's no more ports around the Mac. That, that's all the ports you're going to get. There's really nothing else to show you around the Mac. So let's just open it up. And as we open it up, it's going to turn on like they always do. But we don't have the screen protector for now. So getting a good angle on the Mac, it's actually pretty hard to show you guys, but that's the screen. It looks really sleek. Up here, it's gonna be your HD camera up there. You're gonna notice the trackpad is actually pretty big. So again, it's almost impossible to focus in on this, but the camera's up there. 
Now let's take a look at what you got in your keyword. There's really nothing special about it except for one thing, and that's up here. So see this, that's your touch ID. But besides being your touch ID, that's also a power button. So if you ever need to force shut down your Mac, you're gonna hold on to that button until it turns off. Or if your Mac doesn't turn on, you would press that button to turn it on. Now something else that's pretty hard to get in camera is this right here, the hinges, but they look pretty sleek. And like I mentioned before, the trackpad's actually extra large. So as mentioned before, to force shut down your Mac, you would just hold on to this key right here, which is your Touch ID, but it's also a button. So you just hold it down until it turns off. There we go. So once it turns off, you can just close the lid. And I want to show you one more thing, and that's the ventilation from your MacBook. So see this right here? You're going to have the exact same thing on the other side of your MacBook, and that's where it breathes. So let me show you the other side, right there. So if you're getting a case for this, you have to get a case that has this cut up here, or else it's not going to ventilate as it should. But at this point, there's really nothing else I can show you about this MacBook Pro. It looks awesome. I'm going to be doing a setup video, a manual, and a review later on. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.